Hey everyone, I'm G and I just finished my first year at the University of Sussex. Living sustainably is really important to me and the university is really committed to being green. So in 2017 the campus won a Green Flag Award and they're currently working to be one of the most sustainable universities in the UK with its Go Greener campaign. Student life can be really busy and hectic but it's easy to be sustainable as well so I wanted to make a video to showcase how we can do so. I divided the video into three sections. We have shopping, academia and energy consumption. I hope you find this video useful whether you're a new student or a current one and if you have any advice yourself feel free to leave a comment below. This section is about shopping and that's to do with clothes, um, your groceries, any sort of thing you need to buy while you're studying. My first advice is bring tote bags wherever you go. I always keep a tote bag in my backpack because I never know when I'm going to need to carry extra shopping around. In terms of clothes shopping, Brighton is the perfect place for sustainable fashion. We have a fantastic range of charity and vintage shops really nearby to the campus in the centre of town and I purchase nearly all of my clothes secondhand now. There's also no shortage of ethical brand new shops as well. Sussex students are also in the right place for sustainable grocery shopping. We have a number of low-waste food shops and markets where you can avoid packaging by bringing your own containers to fill up. It's also easy to tackle the issue of food waste as a student. So you can plan meals to avoid wasting food and download the Too Good To Go app to rescue food from local restaurants at discount prices. Both help with student budgeting too. Too Good To Go works on campus so you can rescue excess and surplus food from Eat Central, the Darba Cafe and lots of other outlets on campus. Food waste can also be composted on campus and certain types of accommodation already have food waste bin bags. So firstly let's talk about how academic study can be more green. Use Ecosia as your search engine. Ecosia is like Google but it will plant one tree for approximately every 45 searches using the search engine. The student-led campaign Ecosia on campus has led to the search engine being set to default on all university computers. Make sure it's set on your personal devices as well as this is a really easy switch to make. Keep your notes and reading materials online. Depending on your subject, you don't need to print that much at university. I study media and most of my readings are academic journals which can be read as online PDFs. There's no need to print them out. I can read and highlight them on my computer which saves a lot of paper for me. Recycle any paper that you do use at the end of each semester as well. If you need any physical materials for your studying, borrow books or buy secondhand as much as you physically can. When you're out and about on campus, between lectures in the library, remember to carry reusable items. Use a lunchbox to avoid food packaging and take a flask with you to the campus outlets for a cheaper drink as well. So let's talk about energy consumption. This is an obvious one, but turn lights off when you're not in the room. This is especially important when you're living off campus in private accommodation. Turning off lights means you'll save on bills while also saving the planet. On-campus accommodation also has environmentally friendly benefits. For example, I've been living on campus and my heating setting number three is an eco-friendly setting that keeps the place warm but is also friendly for the environment. Make sure to separate your recycling and be aware of what can and can't be recycled in Brighton. For example, if you live on campus you'll have reusable tote bags where you need to separate plastic and glass in order to recycle them. However, certain plastics can't be recycled with our recycling contractor. Lastly, save energy by choosing to use public transport to go between campus and town. Our campus has really great links to Brighton via train and the bus, or even better, you can invest in a bike or borrow one from Brighton's bike hire scheme and cycle. So I hope you found this video helpful, either for Sussex specific tips about sustainable living or for student life in general. Leave any extra advice you might have in the comments below and be sure to share and discuss these ideas with friends to have a greater impact.